close your eyes and focus on your breath. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths and see how it feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change the way you breathe. Make it shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Experiment for a while to see what kind of breathing feels good inside. Because the sense of feeling good inside is an important strength for us so that we can help other people feel good and be happy as well through our thoughts and our words and our deeds. If we are feeling miserable inside, then it's hard to wish other people well. But if you have a sense of well-being that comes from inside, and it's very easy, all you have to do is watch how you breathe and adjust the way you breathe. So the body feels like it's soothed each time you breathe in, soothed each time you breathe out. And when you're feeling comfortable inside like this, it's a lot easier to look at other people and realize, okay, they're suffering in their lives and you don't like to see them suffer. You wish them well. If there's something you can do to help, you're happy to help. This is one of those days of the year when everybody's wishing everybody else a, a happy day, a merry day. Well, we do this all year round as we meditate. May I find true happiness, may everybody find true happiness. That's one of our basic motivations in the practice. We see that we don't like to suffer from other people's greed, aversion, and delusion, and so we decide, okay, we're, we're going to try to get rid of our own greed, aversion, and delusion so that we don't have to suffer from that and other people don't have to suffer from ours. This is one of the Buddha's basic insights, is when you realize how much you want happiness, you look at other people, other beings. They want happiness, too. And you have to take that into consideration when you're looking for your happiness. Don't make, build your happiness on other people's suffering. They won't stand for it. And what's so special about your happiness that it entitles you to make other people suffer? You turn around, you look, and there are ways of making yourself happy that don't involve any impact on other people, aside from a good impact. In other words, you're not harming them in any way, you're not abusing them in any way. And a lot of the true happiness that can be built this way has to come from within. So this is why we have to train our minds. So we're not looking for happiness in a way that causes trouble. This is the big problem in life. So we all want happiness, and yet we end up creating a lot of suffering and pain, both for ourselves and for other people. And the Buddhist teachings are a way of solving that problem so that we can find the happiness we want and not cause anybody else any suffering. And when you wish that happiness for yourself, when you wish that others are able to find that happiness, that's the best wish you can have for them. <laughs>